So right now I'm just going to wait a second. No words or commands, however I will use a sound if I need to. I'm waiting for state of mind here. She's investigating, she's not with me, and that's okay. I move to my left to block. Move to my left to block. I have a nice corner here. You guys can use a mudroom, whatever that may be. So if I need to get her attention here, snap on my fingers. I do not need that. I, I'm not asking for this. I'm just saying be with me. So I get this here. If this creates any, you know, if your dog avoids this, we're not going to go chasing their head around all around to do it. We're going to put it on and that's it. They should have no problem with this or if you're clipping the leash. So I'm just going to tighten this down and now I'm going to wait. Now, normally dogs are ready to go out the door, right? So from here, what I can do is I can open the door and if she starts to go out, I'm going to close the door. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to give her all the slack in the world so you guys see that I'm not doing any words or commands with this. If she goes, the door shuts. See the waiting? I'm not doing anything here. Door is more open. If she makes a move like this, the door goes shut. So you can do this back and forth this way if you'd like. This would be option number one, letting the door do the work for you. So her brain went somewhere else for a, for a moment. She's sniffing and she's curious. She gets a scent of the outside. So from here, if I, as long as I get the state of mind, as he's chasing a bug onto her tail. So I need to reset her for a second. So I'm going to move with her this way <laughs> and back around. I prefer dogs to be on my left. And if she goes, then we shut the door again. She's still sniffing again. Her brain isn't where I need it to be. So we're not going outside. So door goes open and closed. So if I feel like she's ready, state of mind. I'm not asking, nope, we're not doing that. So my note wasn't for her. My note was saying it's not time to go, telling you guys. You guys always ask me, how do I do this without commands? I'm showing you. Then when we're ready, I love the eye contact. I'm not requiring it. I love this. I'm not requiring it. Her state of mind dictated that she needed to look up at me and also dictated I should probably put my butt down. From here, we go. And that's how we start our walk. Now, that's option one. Option two, I'll bring this in a little bit closer for you guys. Option two is to walk up to the door. It's the same type of thing, but from here, we're just gonna put her butt down. I'm just gonna touch her butt. So instead of the door doing the work, I'm doing that. Instead of the door opening and closing, I may make a correction sound for her to go, but this is what I created this time. If your dog is a little wound up, sometimes they need a little touch. And you guys see, it was just fingertips, okay? So if I do it again, you can do this with your door open. You walk up, you stop. And then we wait. Think time over destination. As soon as you grab this leash off of the hook, your walk has started. If you're doing a 30 minute walk, your walk has started from the moment you grab the leash, not from the moment you get out the door, down the road, whatever the case may be. It starts when you grab the leash. If it takes you 15 minutes to get out of this door before you're ready to go out, then you have 15 minutes left in your walk. This will burn more fuel from your dog than going down the road with them pulling you. So 
all there is to it. When it's time to go, you go.